So in this video, I'm going to show you how to insert all sorts of different media into your um, hot potatoes exercises. Um, the way you do this is going to hold for any of the different hot potatoes that you use. I'm just going to use uh, jQuiz to show you how to do it. So um, what I'm going to do here is just open up a quiz that I made earlier, just a test quiz. And um, and this particular quiz, I have a reading text. So with reading texts, you insert a reading text, and then the quiz that you have, or whatever document you have, the reading text will show up on the left-hand side. And um, so in order to add a reading text, you will just go to File, Add Reading Text, and you can either choose a, an HTML file to insert that text from, or you can just copy and paste the body of the text into this box and give it a title. And that's going to show up on the left of your quiz. So it's going to show up over here. So that's how you'd add a, any sort of reading text you want. Um, to any of the quizzes, any of the exercises that you make in Hot Potatoes. Um, the other thing that we can make, we can insert here, might be a test picture, or might be pictures. This is this is the question I made earlier, and you can do that from either a website or a local um, or a local directory. So. What I'm going to do here is delete that, and I'm going to say insert a picture from a local file. And so I've got this file here saved, and insert it. I'm going to have it end up being in the center. So that was insert picture from a local file. Or what we can do is we can find a picture on the internet, and Let's just use the Google logo, for instance. So I'm going to copy that image URL, right click on it, and go insert picture from a web URL. And there's our link URL, paste. And we're not going to give it a title or alt text. And these are these are two other images here that um, that I added earlier. I'll take them out. And then we'll just take a look at what that looks like. So save it, export it, and view that exercise in our browser. So that was question four. So there's our Google logo and there's the running person. So this is, so if you look at the URL, right click, copy that URL, and paste it, you'll see that that's pointing at Google. And if you look at the picture of the runner, right click, copy URL and paste it, you'll see that that's looking at that local directory. And so if you're going to put this online, you need to upload the image in. Um, you need to upload the image along with the HTML file, and you need it, and they need to be saved in the same location as they were on your desktop. They need to be saved in the same location relative to each other. So those are our images, and. One other thing we're going to do here is we're going to try and do a YouTube video. So we'll go to YouTube. And just select any random old video. And then if we go down to our share button and then click embed, there's a bunch of text here that you can just copy 
and then paste into the box. So for instance, this YouTube video is going to show up next to answer A. You could paste it in this box here, it'd show up at your question. You could set it at the quiz title. You could set it in any of these boxes. Um, and you know it just determines where exactly it's going to show up on the page. So we'll save that and we'll preview it. View the exercise in our browser. And let's scroll down. There's our images and there's our YouTube video embedded in the uh, embedded in our quiz. And then one last thing we'll also do is we will insert a media object. And so this is like an MP3 and an MP3. Um, so I have an MP3 right here. It could be any sort of it could be a local local media file like a like a dot mov which is a video or any sort of media file. And so I selected that and told the program that I'd like it to be played with the QuickTime player and then hit OK. We're gonna save it. We're going to export it. Replace the old file and view it in the browser. And let's go to that question so we know what it looks like. And there is our QuickTime file. And it plays. One other thing. No, actually, that's all that that is that's all the inserting that needs to be done. Thanks for watching.